Hello everyone, welcome to the practice session. Today we are going to discuss step seven of exercise two and we'll also recapitulate all that we have discussed in exercise two so far. So we'll discuss step seven today and that will conclude our exercise two. So through the steps that we have been going so far, I think it is now much more clear to you how the self is there, how the body is there and how the two are transacting, how the two are there in coexistence. And when we discuss step seven today, we'll also try to observe coexistence. So I think by the observation that you made so far, you are in a much better position to observe how the self, the conscious entity is interacting with the body, the material entity. The sensations are there in the body and the feelings are there in the self and how we are associating the meaning to the sensation. So this will give you a better clarity of the existence of the self and the body as two distinct realities. And you could see how the information exchange is taking place between the self and the body. So these are the seven steps. We'll go through all these steps today. So if you look at steps one to six, we have been able to see that I am there, body is there. I am able to see myself through my activities and I'm able to see the body through sensation. There is an exchange of information between me and the body. So I'm instructing the body and I am reading the sensation from the body. And this whole thing is taking place by my decision. You could also see that there's a distance between me and the sensation. I'm not the sensation. I'm not a part of the sensation. I can read the sensation taking place in any part of the body from where I am being at a distance from the sensation. You could also see that this interaction is temporary in time. It's not continuous. I pay attention to it from time to time as and when required. So when I consider it important, I pay attention to this. When I do not consider it important, I do not pay attention. And we could also see that there is a distance between the self and the body. This is something that we have observed in step seven. Now with this preparation, we go further to discuss step seven. So in step seven, we are observing our being in space. So this is something that we are trying to observe in this step. So far, we try to observe the consciousness and the material. Now we are trying to observe the space which is unlimited, all pervading. So I am in coexistence in space. The body is also in coexistence in space. I transact information with the body through space as and when required by my choice, by my decision. So whatever transaction is taking place between me and the body is through space. So I can see or I have to see that I am there in space. The body is also there in space and whatever I am transacting with my body is through space. So I send instruction to the body through space. I read specific sensations taking place in the body through space. So all this is happening in space, isn't it? So far, you might not have been able to assign importance to this observation of space, but we'll see that my understanding gets complete by the activity of realization and I'm able to realize the coexistence when I'm able to see the submergence of nature in space. So in this step, we are trying to initiate that observation. We are trying to initiate that process by which I can enable myself to see the submergence, the coexistence. There are objects outside the body and they have an effect on the body. And these effects reach to me in the form of sensation taking place in the body. And I observe this directly. While I interact with the body from time to time, as and when I decide to, my being is not dependent on the body. This is something to be highlighted, that my being is not dependent on the body. It is not dependent on sensation also. It is not dependent on anything outside also. So I am in space. So my being is not dependent on anything. I am very much there. I am there and I am going to be there. I am in space. However, I can see that I am there and I'm related to all, but not dependent. Similarly, I am responsible toward all, but not dependent. Now, when I'm able to see that through space, I'm related to each and every entity, every human being, each and every entity in this nature. This is the feeling of love. And with this feeling of love, I'm able to see my participation, my responsibility towards all. And this is compassion. Being able to see the coexistence, the submergence is to see the truth, 
and with that i am able to see the feeling of love and compassion inside me and this is living with human consciousness and i am able to ensure truth love and compassion inside me isn't it this is awakening to the higher level activities of the self and this is what we are working for so when we say that i want to live with continuous happiness essentially i need to ensure this kind of competence in me i hope you are able to relate this to your basic aspiration so to sum up all the steps i am the body is i can see them by observing their activities i transact information with the body by giving instruction to the body and reading some sensation from the body i am the one who decides what instructions are to be passed on to the body and what sensations are to be read from the body it is my decision i can read the sensation taking place in any part of the body and as we could see that there are sensations in every part of the body every cell of the body but i read sensation decisively when i consider them important and i can read them being at a distance from the sensation so we could also conclude that there is a distance between the self and the body in step 5 we could see that my interaction with the body or the world outside is by way of sensation and i give a meaning here i associate some meaning to every sensation so my reaction or response depends on my sanskar the way i associate the meaning so i tend to react if my sanskar is based on assumption then i decide my feeling whether right or wrong i become happy or unhappy based on external inputs i react i am enslaved isn't it if my happiness is dependent on something outside i am enslaved and i keep on reacting either inside or outside i respond when my sanskar is based on understanding i continue to remain in state of harmony my feeling remains natural in accordance with the human nature i continue to be in a state of happiness i use the external input or rightly evaluate the external situation and then i respond and this is what we have been trying to explore so we naturally want to respond but we keep on reacting and why is that so because we are not able to observe things to such a subtle level to such a fine uh, level in such depth and this is what is required so if you look at this course in this course we are trying to sharpen our observation deepen our observation of the reality the consciousness the material as well as the space so this is something that we have discussed till step 6 now in step 7 we are observing our being in space so i am in coexistence in space my body is also in coexistence in space and i am transacting information with the body through space so try to observe this try to be aware of this at least it can be part of your imagination you can think about this isn't it you can analyze this and going further you can observe this so this is step 7 is a step which is introduced with the idea that you start working on it so that you start getting a feel of it you start observing the coexistence by yourself so just to start observing no need to conclude things in a hurry it will take time but keep working on it keep observing so this is just preparing the base for that the more you are able to observe this or the more you are able to assign the importance to this you will get more clarity you will develop your understanding so this is the assignment for step 7 you have to practice steps 1 to 6 regularly and if possible try to go into step 7 also and you have to note down your observations in a journal several times in a day and if you can do this every 4 hours that is very good so uh, like this was the last assignment that we are discussing during the exercises the lectures are still going to continue and i hope you are going to continue with the practice practice 1 and practice 2 both in exercise 1 we try to look at the feeling and evaluate the feeling and then try to transform the feeling in exercise 2 we become aware of the sensation from the body and also become aware how we assign a meaning to the sensation and react or respond depending upon our level of competence so this is all for exercise 2 now that you have done exercise 1 and exercise 2 it will add a lot of uh, clarity <clears throat> in your own observation towards yourself as well as the body 
So in exercise one, we try to observe the self by the self. In exercise two, we try to observe the body and the interaction between the self and the body by the self. And in the last step of exercise two, we also try to look at the coexistence. The lectures that are going on are detailing upon the content of your observation, what you are going to observe essentially, the relationship, the innateness, the submergence. And in the exercises, we are trying to observe them directly. So I hope you are going to continue with your observation on a very regular basis. So long as you are attending the course, kindly try to do it every day. Observe uh, the self and the body exclusively for some time of the day, every day. If you can allot some time during the day on a regular basis and do exercises one and two, that will add a lot of sharpness in your own observation. The content that you are getting are coming as an information, but through your direct observation, we are able to see the reality. So continue with this. We have been giving assignments after every exercise, and I hope you are going to continue with that. So this is all for the exercise two, step seven today. Thank you.